Hey, it's Chris Westfall with a quick video to talk about intelligent communication. Now, when I ask you how smart you are, I, I don't mean to make you defensive. In fact, my intention is exactly the opposite. It's to help you in this video to create more intelligent conversations and conversations that actually accelerate your goals and your objectives through greater persuasion and influence. When you're meeting with someone, you may be spending a lot of time right now discussing your credibility. You might find yourself talking about your background or the background of your company in an effort to prove that your organization offers a quality solution, that you provide excellence in customer service, or that you on a personal level have a, a, an expertise that is special. Well, I would submit to you that we all have areas of expertise, whether that expertise is in commercial real estate, technology, electrical engineering, whatever the case may be, we all have areas where we are very, very strong. And if you are brilliant with electrical engineering, for example, that may not mean that you are very aware of some of the puts and takes in veterinary medicine, for example. We all have areas of expertise where we are truly at our best. Wouldn't you agree? And in that area of expertise, why do you need to prove that you are an expert? Now, you may say that you need to prove that your expertise because the people in front of you are suspicious. The people in front of you don't know about your credibility. But a bigger question for you is this one. What would change in the way that you communicate if your expertise was a given? What would change for you if you knew beyond a shadow of a doubt that no matter what doubts might exist in the room, your credibility was a constant, like the fact that the sky is blue. How would your communication style change? You see, there are two questions on everyone's mind when they're connecting with you in a business context. First one is, can I trust this person? Which is a question about credibility, right? And the way that we often establish trust and credibility is by talking about our past. Why? Because the past is known, history is fixed, and the accomplishments of the past can prove results in the future. However, I would suggest to you that what was going on with you in 1998, even if it was a really good year, doesn't really matter right now. You see, in the financial markets, they'll tell you that past performance, it's no indication of future results. So maybe there's a more important question than are you credible? Maybe there's a more significant question, and if you can answer this question in a way that's powerful and compelling, that's when the conversation really gets interesting. Here's that question. How can you help us? You see, what you can create through your expertise is much more interesting than trying to prove it. And spending time talking about who you are and what you've done Sometimes that, that can be a mistake. In fact, it can be kind of exhausting. What really matters is what's on your, your listener's mind, the audience that, that you're speaking to, whether that's your boss, your board of directors, your employees, or even a college professor. What's on their mind is where the conversation starts. And if you can create a conversation where you believe in your credibility, you own your expertise, Others will share in that sentiment as well. Don't leave the past behind. Don't leave history out. But understand the focus that will serve you most to accelerate the conversation. That might be the most intelligent thing that you can talk about. My name is Chris Westfall, and thanks again for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel right here, and you can find many, many more videos like this. I look forward to talking with you again very, very soon.